When doing web design, you'll see numbers like this used to represent colors like this. We want to take a look at how color is represented using hexadecimal notation. In the computer we have information usually thought of as bits and bytes of information with 8 bits making a byte. Typically we have one byte per color, red, green, and blue, to represent a color. When you look at a single bit of information, it can represent two values, 0 or 1, true or false. We're going to use it to represent black or white. With one bit, you have two values, black and white. With two bits, the number of values doubles to 4. Three bits, doubling again, we have 8 values, 8 shades of gray. With 4 bits, it doubles again to 16 values. And here we see 16 shades of gray and the 4 digits in binary that represent that. This is the decimal equivalent. Notice that it takes two characters to represent the values 10 through 15. Computer programmers like to be oh, efficient, um, conserve space, so they would like to be able to represent these 16 values with a single character. To do that, we have a substitution of A, B, C, D, E, and F for the numbers 10 through 15. Using those 16 values, 16 shades of red, 16 shades of green, 16 shades of blue, we can represent a number of different colors. Here we see the color white represented with red, green, and blue all at their highest value, mixing together to form white. Here we see a yellow with red and green all the way up at F, or 15, and blue brought down to 6. Here we see a magenta with red and blue at level A, and green brought down to 0. Now we'd like to have more shades than we can get with 16 values. Again, with one bit we get two values black and white. There are graphic systems that only have that capability. With two bits we have our four shades, three bits eight, four bits we have our sixteen. If we go all the way up to use a whole byte to represent the shade, we get 256 different shades of gray. This is much more continuous and is a better color space to be in. To get 255 different shades of red, green, and blue, we just use two hex digits. Since one hex digit represents four bits, two hex digits can represent eight bits for 256 different shades. Now I'm showing the same 16 shades of red, green, and blue we had before, but now notice that we have a range of numbers in between. This is what the hexadecimal representation of the same white would be, but now we have two characters for red, two characters for green, two characters for blue, all up at 255. Here we see the decimal equivalent for these two hex digits together. Notice that between each of these color values we now have a range of about 16 new values in between which will allow us to have a much more continuous coloring system.